30-32, Palmer, the younger fighter, both men 5'6", similar in weight. Slight reach advantage to Lance Palmer. And there you see the kick advantage of half inch to the American. Set to go for the final night. We check in with Joe Martinez as he introduces these top flight athletes. And our fine fans from Long Island, New York, here we go with our final bout of the evening. Three rounds, this in the PFL featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, his background in wrestling and Sunda. At five feet six inches tall, he weighed it officially 145 and one quarter pounds. This 28 fight veteran has 20 victories, seven defeats, and one draw. Fighting out of Xi'an, China, here is the Snow Leopard, Juma Big And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He's a wrestler standing five feet six inches tall. He weighed in officially 145 and three quarter pounds and has a professional record standing at 13 victories and three defeats. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Cleveland, Ohio. The former WSOF featherweight champion of the world, Lance the Party. in charge of the action is Keith Peterson. That's Palmer's father, Dwayne, looking on. His wife, Jesse, in attendance as Sir, well. Sir, you ready? Sir, you ready? Fight! And here we go, the final fight of the night in the featherweight division. Lance Palmer in the black trunks. Jumabek Turchin in the green. Guys, it's not in Lance Palmer's nature to, to fight conservatively or fight, you know, defensively. But you know Juma Beck, Tershawn, he's got to get the points. So he's going to obviously want to push the pace or try to find those openings where he can get a submission or a possible end to this fight early and get those points. Well, he definitely needs the points. He's, he's looking at a, a big zero here, and, and that's not going to get him to the postseason. Nice uh, level change, followed by a right hand there by Lance Palmer. Landed right on the forehead of, of Juma. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good heavens. That was a lot of power, too. Yeah, that happens when one of them is a soft well, open stance is what we call it. But everything you can do to your opponent, he can do exactly the same thing back, only with this left. Palmer again throwing a big right hand, and Jumovec Tertian grabs that leg, see if he can get a single. This would be a tough guy to get to the ground. Lance using that threat of a guillotine, kind of threat to the neck. And there's a cow catcher, he's going to take Tertian down. He's got Tertian's back, Ooh. looking for hooks. Didn't get a hook, so see if he can get got one. Nice control there by Palmer. Both hooks in, and one hook in now, standing position by Tertian. Oh, nice so to get Lance Palmer out of his back. So he sheds that Buckeye backpack momentarily, but Tershawn not out of the woods yet. Takedown going to Palmer's way, and now he's all over it. Uh oh. Does he have the neck? Uh, no. I think Tershawn slipped it. Yep. Got an arm in between the legs, pulled Lance's hips up so high that it was hard to secure the neck and really threaten from there. Lance settling back in to that half guard position. Is that Dwayne is getting anxious there? <laughs> That's got to be something to see your kid. Well, you know how that feels to see your kid fight. Let's do a nice job with that deep waist. Controlling Tursen's hips. Using his free hand to score. Palmer coming off that defeat of Bekbulat Magomedov by a rear naked choke. Round number two, that's why he has the five points. 
Tershawn, the loss to Andre Harrison we saw just moments ago by way of decision. And now Palmer jackhammering with that left. It's almost like he wants him to turn on the belly so he can go for a rear naked choke. Trying to step over the mount is Palmer. Keeps his right leg very close now. So you want cannot pull it out. We saw in Jumabek's fight against Andre Harrison, it's going to take a lot to submit this guy. He is tough. So much instruction coming from Lance Palmer's corner, guys. How much do you hear? How much can you process when you're in this death grip with your opponent? Well, the crowd's not roaring too bad right now, so we can probably hear a lot of that. Um, but yeah, there's definitely occasions where you can't hear anything but the roar of the crowd. Stand up and go! Stand up and go! Corner's asking for him to posture up, stand up and go. As we go under 10 seconds here in round number one. Round one complete. Very interesting as Jumabek got into trouble, but it's able to withstand that five-minute barrage as Lance Palmer really dictating the pace and showing just how strong he is. After round number one, we check in now with Caroline Pierce with Lance's father, Dwayne. Thanks, thanks, Todd. I'm here with Dwayne. Very animated during that, that fight. What would you make of Lance's performance in round one? Oh, for, great first round. He's doing well. You know what? You just got to smash his face in. I mean, that's all there is to it, you know? <laughs> this is a fight. It is what it is, you know what I mean? He's looking great. It is indeed. We know that Jumabek's Beck's not, a hard, not an easy guy to finish. Obviously, Andre Harrison couldn't do so. What's, what's Lance got to do differently? Well, he's probably going to end up finishing him. He'll probably go for the choke, I would imagine. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be a choke round two, according to Dwayne. Back to you, Todd. <laughs> and Dwayne looks like he's ready to jump in there and go a few rounds. Yeah. He is fired up watching his son, Lance Palmer, going into the second round. Palmer landing 21 of 40 strikes. Tertian threw zero strikes the whole round. That, I can Sir, tell you, is Sir, not going to get you three points. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a tough one to overcome. Been probably fired up a little bit because he knows he needs to do something now. Oof. Wow, look at uh, that takedown is. Very, very nice. Yeah, Mixed that up. Use the kick and then the punch to set that up. Follow through. He's going to watch out. He's going to put the right arm in there. He's going to right slip off. He's a little high. Yep. Tersh doing a nice job of kind of going to shake him down and trying to get him to fall off the top. He's got to watch out, Lance, that he doesn't squeeze too much power on his legs, right? He's going to build a blanket asset. It's not going to help you if it doesn't work out later I, on in the fight. I think the arms are probably doing more work right now, but, but you're absolutely correct. He's the one spending energy there. Jumabek taking all that strength into those quads as they finally go to the canvas. Now he's got to protect that neck. Palmer with a full mount. Full mount and almost had the arm trial yeah. there for a split second. Wow, almost full, full four minutes on the clock. I was sitting a little higher on the chest mm -hmm. when you were back start bucking up. Absolutely. A little, little higher mount, climb up off those hips. The hips are precarious. Jumbeck's going to start to buck them and keep him off balance so he can't do any damage. The higher Palmer climbs his hips up, the more balance and stability he has, and then he can start landing some shots. There's Dad coaching from the stands. Gotta love it. Wow. There's some nice damage here. Scoring for sure. Jubek does a nice job of elbow escaping and getting to half guard. Taking that mount position, which is such a dominant position for the top man. 
Jim and Beck Tershawn in the green trunks in full defense right now. This is not a happy place. are not really super connecting, so. He's doing Jumabek, a great job, boss, of limiting the damage yep. by getting the hands up. Deflecting and trapping that one arm that he does, and now the other one again, you see, so every time he gives him one arm free, looks like he's looked for an arm bar, but his corner from Lance said the same thing, I heard. She is gonna go for the right arm of Lance. Trying, nice job, nice shifting his way to the side. And stopping that. Yep. He's going to jump to side control right now, and Jumabek turns into him to stop the Grabbing onslaught the of the Blues. Jumabek trying to do a nice job of hand control, find a way to scramble out from underneath this All-American wrestler. 65 to 1 in total strikes thrown. Yeah, let's hit the kidney area a little bit, wow. soften it up. That is some serious tenderizing right there. Wow, I was feeling up oh, and let it go. He had that right arm almost trapped from Yuva back behind his back. <laughs> Randy, we talked about he went back to Ohio State into the gym there working with the wrestlers. He works out at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas after spending so many years with Alpha Male in Sacramento, California, with Joseph Benavidez, Uriah Faber, and the likes. Ludwig. Keep working. Just a grinder right now. He's absolutely in grind mode. Doing his best to stay right on top of Jumabek. Find ways to damage. I'd like to see him use that fence. Get his hips in and his head up. Create a little distance there and stack Jumabek up. Be able to land some bigger shots from that top position. Jumabek's got to be careful and not give up his back here. Too late. One hook in, does a nice job of rolling now. Jumabek rolls to get half guard and not give up another hook and anchor. Yeah, he saw the last fight from Palmer and he thought, you know what, I'm not going to lay on my belly. I'm going to keep facing him. At least they know what's coming. Keep working, guys. People at home who didn't see it, that was Palmer Lawton won by rear naked choke. That's yep. why I'm saying this. And it almost looked like he was there in the first round in this fight as well. Yep. And Jumabek survives another round. So it'll go to a third and final round as Lance Palmer still trying to crack that equation. Well, let's go back and look at some of the action earlier on in He's round like number one with Palmer and Tertian. This will get your that attention. Level change, straight left. Grill checker. Yeah, oh, that so was that nice. Was <laughs> it's so amazing in slow motion. Here's the <laughs> back position Lance Palmer has. He's got a little high. Rubik did a nice job of keeping, shaking him down. Here, the full mount position. Round and pound. Landed some shots, scoring. Palmer. Yeah, you're right, uh, Randy. The slow motion makes it look better. <laughs> Jumabek's got to get on the offensive front. He has only thrown one missed punch this entire fight of two rounds, while Palmer has landed 35 ground strikes, and those came just in round number two. Sir, are you ready? Sir, are you ready? Fight. Party chance begin. Lance Palmer, does he go the distance with Tertian out of China and pick up the three points? Or does he get a finish here, which would be good for four points? There's a hiker coming. Like trying to use the fakes, head fakes. Keep Jumabek off balance. And there's the attempt. Guys, 
is this a pride thing as a fighter? If you've dominated the first two rounds, do you feel like, I've got to get a finish here, I've got to get a submission, I've got to get a knockout here, or it won't be that successful? I think he's in the zone. I think this is the game plan. He knew this was a solid guy. And the girl put up, you know, he, he clearly, in both rounds, oh, that was almost hit like a cup check, didn't yeah. it? Nice inside kick. He's, he's patient here. He's pick, gonna pick his shots. He's gonna set it up. Look for him to find another takedown and get this back on the ground where he's dominated this entire fight. Again, a nice head fake followed with a straight left. June Beck Tershon certainly traveling the furthest of any fighter to get here to Long Island, an ethnic Kazakh from an autonomous Kazakh region in China. Hotbed for combat sports. He says he does love training in the U.S., spending time out on Coney Island. Cannot confirm or deny that he took part in the hot dog eating contest over the 4th of July. <laughs> Lance Paul. Oh, that's, yeah. that's twice he's whipped right yeah. over yeah. Schumann's head. So here's what Palmer's looking at. If he gets the win and it goes the distance, he'll have eight points, which would confirm the number two seed in the featherweight division for the playoffs, which begin in October. Nice. Right behind Steven Seiler, who has the 12. Big swing and a miss by Zumabek. Lance went right under it. Greatest weapon, guys, in this fight and his last one against Harrison may be that jaw and neck. He is almost impossible to put away. Not scoring a lot of points offensively, but man, he is a tough customer to end. And here's Judah back in on the single leg. Kind of countered Lance's aggression. Got in on the single. Lance sprawling and trapping an arm. Keep him on the air here. Trying to do the roll here. Great positioning here by Lance. Lance settling in the yeah. cross side. He's got that seat belt, that bottom arm trap. That's one less arm. Junovic has to protect his face. It's a tough position. Lance, one hook in. Look for him to get the other hook. He's got both hooks in now. This could be a problem. One and a half minutes on the clock. Turchin trying to get wrist control there to avoid the rear naked choke as Lance Palmer is clearly in control of this one as we come up on one minute to go. Remember, there's still three more cards to come before all the divisions are set, guys. Top eight moving on in all six divisions for the quarterfinals and semifinals, which you will see live only on NBCSN. Just keep doing it. Oh, Lance there we had to go. soften him up there. Oh, now he's sinking the choke. Deep. Working that hand across over the shoulder. He didn't get that sunk in deep enough. But Julek's got a monkey grip on those hands. He yeah. cannot get those hands free. Dropped the chin, so Palmer unable to sink it in that deep. Nice. Now we can break it. He's, he's cleaning those hands off. He's trying to sink that choke in deeper. Not allowed to grab the gloves. The referee warning him a little bit, Jumabek, about grabbing the actual glove. And he's got it. He had to left hip cover, turn his head to the right, and that will do it. He was patient, but Palmer, 25 seconds left in the fight, gets the stoppage. It was a neck crank, right? I think it was a neck crank. Yeah. I don't think he ever really got under his chin. I don't, yeah. And but he got in deep. 34, Lance Palmer clinches the number two seed and gets a stoppage, and his father still looks angry. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Chuma Beck Tershon came a long way to fight the Pro Fighters League, and he is a tough customer. Not easy to put him away. I think Zubek is, is an athlete that would benefit from spending yeah. some time here in the U.S. Finding, finding one of these gyms and, and really kind of digging in and, and technically upping his game. 
What do you think, boss? We know Jim in Vegas, they could probably take him and then sharpen him just a little bit. One thousand oaks. Scream something, and then there's one in California. Yeah, no, he... Take a look at Cage Genomics for this final fight of the night here from Long Island. Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum, and there you see how lopsided it was on the strikes thrown and landed. Two takedowns coming the way of Palmer, and when he got him to the ground, guys, he made them stick for a long time and just grind this thing out. With 24 seconds left in the fight, Palmer gets the win. So now Lance Palmer can sit and wait and see who he will face as he clinches the number two seed for the official decision. Here's Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, it comes officially four minutes, 34 seconds, round number three submission by Rooney Kachok, your winner. He picks up four points tonight. Lance, the party.